the the payoff on the end, right? As we talked about earlier, the show is unsuspecting kindness gets rewarded. So you have a great connection with someone, they help you, give you food, shelter, and then at the end of the show, you give them something that's life changing. What's been your favorite life changing moment during both seasons of really being able to give someone an amazing gift? I know that the stories have varied from rent to travel to opportunities that these people never imagined. Was there one in your mind that really stands out? Yeah, definitely. I was in Pittsburgh and uh, I was going out to people and asking if I could stay with them and they were saying no, which is fine. Um, then I, saw, I went up to this one chap and I said, can I stay in your house tonight? After talking to him for a little bit and he goes, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm homeless. He didn't look homeless, but he clearly was. And I was about to walk off. I felt some shame, you know. I thought, just asked a homeless man to stay in his house. And he turns around and he says, well, you know what? If you want, you can stay with me tonight. I'll feed you, I'll protect you, and I'll give you some clothes. Every part of my being was like, Leon, you're not sleeping on the streets of Pittsburgh. But there was that one little counterintuitive voice that said, Leon, my good friend, you are staying on the streets of Pittsburgh tonight. And that's exactly what happened. And his name was Tony, and he taught me a profound lesson. He taught me that true wealth is not in our wallets, but it's in our hearts. And if a, if a homeless man with nothing can be kind, then why can't I? If a homeless man with nothing can be kind, then why can't you? Uh, and he taught me another lesson, and that is that kindness is free. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how little money you have. Kindness is free. And sleeping on the streets of Pittsburgh for that one night changed everything for me because it made me realize that, uh, again, like with the Motorcycle Diaries, there's another way to live. And if he can be kind, then I have no excuses. The next morning, I took him on Kindness One in the sidecar and I, I put him up in an apartment and I sent him back to school. He always wanted to uh, be a chef. So, and he always says to me, you changed my life. And I always say the same thing, Tony, you changed my life and that's the truth you know yeah i mean the lessons that come out of it i remember you in tijuana and the family opening their home and the first thing the family says is they apologize to you you know we're so poor our house is in poor shape really sorry for you to have to experience this obviously the cameras are there and then the moment you're sitting on the couch thinking about if the roles were reversed someone was on your doorstep in London knocking on, on your door, would you open your house to them? And you know, that moment for me sitting next to Amy watching the show, just thinking like, you know, I don't know that we could do it either. You know, we often look at our own safety, our own personal well being, and our homes is very sacred. And here are all these people who have, you know, less than you can imagine are willing to open their door, give you a tamale, give you a couch to sleep on. I'm assuming the lessons along the way have changed you, your view now in opening up your home and, and of kindness and generosity, how has it shifted and, and what's been the biggest lesson there? So I was in Santa Monica about a year ago and uh, there was a guy that was, this is the first time I've ever shared this publicly, there was a guy that was walking the, the, that tra the trail, mm -hmm. of, I can't remember the name of it, um, the, Pac uh, the Pacific Coast Trail okay. and he was ending up in LA and he was about to sleep on the beach and I felt connected to him you know and I was like okay and I said well look do you want to come and stay in my house he's like yeah sure so he ended up staying in my house now I locked my door <laughs> my personal door but whatever yeah. you know I, I trusted him I felt that it was I guess I didn't <clears throat> trust him enough to not lock my door but um if you feel connected to someone, it doesn't take long to, to trust them. But you can't connect from the mind. You have to connect from somewhere, somewhere else. You have to connect from your heart. Um, so yeah, that, that, that happened and I would do it again. <laughs>